The anchor buoy method of relationship design is by far the most popular technique amongst professional FileMaker developers. The idea is to anchor all your relationships to a base table. This creates more table occurrences than the standard spider web like we're doing right now where everything's connected, but ultimately makes it easier to work with related tables and fields when you're working with more complicated projects. And you'll see what we're talking about. It may not be totally clear right now, but as we move through this, you'll see why the anchor buoy is much easier. So what we're going to do is remove all these relationships. Just click and delete. And we'll move them down here, put them right on top of each other. This is not the only way to do this part, but it makes the most sense in my mind to have them arranged all on the left side. And then what we're going to do is create a new table occurrence. Now it says add a table here, but it's really a table occurrence. So we're going to come in here and say I want customers, and we don't want it to be called customers too. I think a better name is underscore invoices. And you'll see that this table occurrence right here is based on the source table of customers just like this one is. So they really have the same records. What defines them is the relationship to the other tables. So we're going to relate invoices to customer invoices, but not to customers. So we'll take that. Whoops, and I got to get the right field. There we go. There we go. And we can tighten it up so we don't have to see that. Once we've defined it, we can make it smaller like that. And now I'm going to add in our lines invoices. There we go. So you can see that the naming convention here allows us to understand that this customers, just by looking at it, is based on the customers table and related to invoices. This is based on the lines table and related to invoices as well. So we come over there, then we'll add in our products, invoices, that will go right there. And then we'll do that right there. And then we can tighten these up by clicking that. And you can go through this and make it smaller, bigger, medium. I guess the small, medium, large here. But it depends. I like to look at it this way so I can see the fields, but it doesn't take up that much room. So the idea here is if you wanted to connect customers to invoices for some reason, you would come in here and put in invoices underscore customers and then relate it here. Simple as that, right? We'll continue to add more table occurrences, but hopefully you've got the idea on how this works. These base tables, even though they're table occurrences, will not relate to each other. These will all be independent groupings of tables, relationships. We'll repeat relationships and, and table occurrences, but ultimately, as you see, it'll make everything much easier when we're working with layout mode and scripts and anything that has to do with the relationships.